Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. Today we're joined by Zoe from People's Dispatch, who's on the ground in Bolivia as part of a Code Pink electoral observation delegation. The delegation has been going around various, uh, went around various places where voting was happening yesterday. And the news at the after yesterday's polling, the polls that came out by various private actors show that the MA is a movement towards socialism. Its ticket of Luis Arce and David Chagavanka are expected to win the election in the first round itself, which means uh, they may not need a second round. Now, of course, these are exit polls, but these exit polls, one of the exit polls is also from a very right-wing uh, agency. So, and there has been a wide acceptance both in the country and uh, outside. So we thank you so much again for joining us. So could you first tell us what's right now the mood on the ground? What is the latest news regarding uh, the results and as well as the pollster results that have come out? Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Prashant. Um, it was a very emotionally charged day. Um, I think throughout the course of the day, people were, you know, peaceful, very uh, going about the voting in a very peaceful and democratic way. But there's a certain sense of tension because um, a really uncertainty of what was going to happen. There was a strong sense that the mass was going to win. But of course, you know, there's always room for some manipulation to be happening. So I think finally, after hours from when the polls closed and finally the exit polls were released, it was a huge sigh of relief. Um, I was staying in a hotel in the center and I could hear fireworks going off for hours. Um, people really, really, you know, feeling a lot of confidence and feeling proud that their vote was respected, feeling proud that their vote, you know, is being uh, is re is reflecting kind of the will of the Bolivian people. Um, and as you said, um, this, while the final tally has not been finished and it's uh, as of now only 16.41% uh, of the tally sheets, which is the, the sheets that are used to have the, you know, official results have been uh, processed. Um, you know, the, the exit polls, indicate an overwhelming victory for the mass ticket, um, over 52%. Um, and so we've seen, you know, figures from Alberto Fernandez, the president of Argentina, recognizing the victory to even Luis Almagro, the uh, secretary general of the Organization of American States. As we know, in the last elections in Bolivia, the OAS was one of the key players in, you know, calling out uh, the supposed fraud and calling for a second round. So this is actually one of the biggest milestones, I think. And, you know, even though we're still waiting on the final results, it seems like it's an irreversible trend. Also to mention there, Janine Añez, the de facto president of the coup regime, also recognized the victory of Luis Arce, David Choquehuanca, last night itself. So I think at this point, people are, you know, in a celebratory mood, still waiting to see what happens with the final tally. But in general, it seems like the will of the Bolivian people has been respected. Um, this is, of course, due to massive, massive mobilization, massive struggle, you know, over the past year since the coup, um, you know, the people have suffered massacres, they've suffered political persecution. There are hundreds of activists who are in jail just for being mass sympathizers or being, you know, trade union activists. And so, you know, this victory is not only the result of one day of voting, but it's the result of an entire year of being in the streets uh, being in every possible location, whether they're in exile and rallying, you know, calling for the return to democracy. You know, Evo is in Argentina and has been continuing to play a really important role in, you know, calling for the democracy to be respected. So I think that also has to be considered in this historic, historic victory. Absolutely. So Zoe, you talked about the final count, which is still in its very early stages. And could you just take us through maybe the process of how this counting takes place? And how, what are the, is there any concerns regarding it right now? Yeah, definitely. So um, the final count is essentially um, taking all of the tally sheets from across the country that come from each of the different polling locations and from those different polling locations, each of the polling booths. So each polling booth will tally up the number of votes that were cast for each party. And we got to see them yesterday, They're these big sheets and, you know, they, do a bunch of different checks and say, and tally up the number of votes that were cast for the party. And so all of these tally sheets are brought to the central computing location. And then workers from the TSE, which is a Supreme Electoral Court, um, essentially do a, 
a processing of these tally sheets. And that's what's reflected on the website, which is has the final count. As of this point, as I mentioned before, only 16% 16 uh, 16 of the votes have been processed. And so right now, if you go to the website, it's reflecting a Mesa, uh, Carlos Mesa Ciudad, Comunidad Ciudadana um, in the lead. But as, as I said, only 16% of the votes have been processed. And I think, for example, a lot of the rural areas of the, um, the actas from the rural areas have not been brought in. So I think, People are still remaining cautious with this because we know anything can happen. But at this point, with the amount of recognitions that have come in from the OAS, from all of these high level officials, it's likely that the final count will reflect um, the exit polls and that it will in a couple of days. Um, it could be two days, three days. The final results will reflect a victory for the mass. Absolutely. Right. And finally, uh, oh, after talking to activists, after talking to people, observers, so are there any areas of concern? Are there issues people are watching out for? Because like you said, it is a mood of celebration, but also one of vigilance. Yeah, I think in general in La Paz, for example, it's been quite calm. I think some of the areas where people might have some concern about violent backlash from the right wing, we might be talking about Santa Cruz, where uh, the, the base of Camacho is located. Um, and we know there's been... Um, very strong mobilizations by paramilitary groups. And so at this point, you know, people are being cautious and knowing that that's a possibility because the right-wing backlash, you know, happened last year and it could happen again. As of, as of now, um, it seems to be in a moment of calm, but of course um, people, you know, looking out for that and being ready to denounce that when it happens. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Zoe, for speaking to us. We'll be staying in touch with you as the final tally gets calculated further and the results hopefully come out in a few days. Thank you so much for having me, Prashant.